Richard Curtis is an author and leading child behaviour expert who aims to help transform the lives of parents and teachers. His books, lectures and advice sessions seek to educate them about the cause of a child's behaviour or misbehaviour, looking at the source of behavioural issues as opposed to just reactionary methods. Richard travels across the world to cover the topic and has held a session in his home city of Southampton to provide an opportunity for parents and grandparents in the Solent area to learn more about modern day parenting and to ask questions. And Solent went along to meet Richard at the event. So I focus much of my time on teaching parents and teachers um, the skills that they need in order to be able to help children in the future and to help children grow. Um, so for example, I've got a parenting network called Help My Child Grow, which is all about giving bite-sized digestive chunks of information to parents about technology, about behaviour, about emotions, so that actually they can be doing proactive stuff to avoid it going horribly bad. The modern world is a scary place. It's vastly different than anything we as human race have ever experienced. Even going back 10 years, uh, if you look at technology, look at the rise of mobile phones, laptops, tablets, that's all changed our society over the last 10 years. The internet um, has had a huge implication on everything um, that we do as parents and as, 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 as adults. Um, so the things that we relied on as, as a race, as, as parents, you know, 10, 20, 30 years ago, we can't rely on anymore. The sentiments about bringing up a well-rounded child and um, enabling them to be able to succeed in their lives are still as important. However, the how we do that is what's changed the most. And so that's where um, a lot of my work, particularly with grandparents and great-grandparents, is helping them to understand the how, not the why that they're trying to achieve, but the how and how that's different for them. We learn parenting the wrong way around. We have a child and then you hit the terrible twos, for example, then you learn what to do about the terrible twos. You have a baby that's not sleeping at night, so you learn what to do about them not sleeping at night. You know, the, the tantrums at three, so you learn about, so we do it all backwards. And you get there and actually, oh, I've now hit this, I now need to learn about this. So we're parenting backwards, whereas actually we sh as a society should be parenting forward. And one of the things that I would love to see around the globe is to get parenting into um, the education system, into the curriculum in some way. So that actually we're teaching children and teenagers how to parent, how to help their children succeed through those early sleepless nights, how to deal with what does crying mean, how do I cope with not understanding my baby during the first few weeks, all of those things that are really stressful and incredibly um, tiring for, for parents. We need to teach children um, and teenagers to be expecting that so that they can then make informed choices about parenting, whether they want to be parents, what sort of parents they want to be, you know, all of those sorts of things so that they are learning and they are parenting forwards rather than what we're currently doing, which is all about doing it once you hit the once you've hit um, the barrier, then you go and research it and it's all the wrong way around. So I think it's absolutely vital that we get in place in schools some kind of personal social development um, curriculum looking at how to teach parenting skills.